Life on Earth, The Kingdoms. What is the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells? Prokaryotic cells have no nucleus and no membrane-bound organelles. Prokaryotic cells are simple cells. They contain a cell wall, cell membrane, and ribosomes. And are bacteria only. Yet eukaryotic cells have a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. Eukaryotic cells are complex cells and are plants, animals, and fungi. Unicellular and multicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms have one cell and multicellular organisms have many cells. Metabolic activity. Organisms can either be heterotrophs or autotrophs. Heterotrophs have to get their energy from another source, and autotrophs make their own energy. Phototrophs make their energy from the sun. Chemotrophs make their energy from chemicals. There are also aerobic and anaerobic organisms. Aerobic organisms use oxygen. Anaerobic organisms do not use oxygen. Methods of reproduction. Binary fission is asexual. Spore formation is sexual. Budding is asexual. Fertilization is sexual. Pollination is sexual. Regeneration is asexual. Bacteria, eubacteria, and archibacteria. Bacteria have no nucleus or internal membrane-bound organelles. They reproduce by binary fission and conjugation exchange of genes. They can be photosynthetic or heterotrophic and sometimes move with a flagella. Bacteria can be used to make insulin for diabetes patients. Archibacteria. Archibacteria live only in extreme environments and are the most ancient form of life. Eubacteria. Eubacteria are most bacteria and can even be found on and in the human body. Protista. Protists are mostly unicellular, but some are multicellular, like algae, and can be heterotrophic or autotrophic. All protists are eukaryotic. Protists reproduce both sexually and asexually. Methods of locomotion include using pseudopodia or false feet, cilia, and flagellum. Some examples are amoeba, paramecium, euglena, algae, and plasmodium. Some problems that may occur from protists are malaria and eutrophication. Fungi. Fungi are heterotrophic and they absorb organic nutrients from their surroundings. Fungi can either be parasitic or saprophytes. Fungi reproduce sexually by spores and asexually by fragmentation. Some examples are mushrooms, bracket fungus, and yeast. Plantae. All plants are multicellular and autotrophic. Plants alternate between diploid and haploid. The gametophyte generation is haploid and the sporophyte generation is diploid. There are two types of plants, vascular and non-vascular. Non-vascular is the most primitive. There are no stems, roots, or leaves and they produce spores. Some examples are moss, liverwort, and hornwort. 
Vascular plants have vascular tissue that transports material between the roots, shoots, and leaves. Vascular tissue helps plants grow much larger than non-vascular plants. Plants reproduce by spore formation, fertilization, and pollination. Some major roles that plants Plants produce food and oxygen for animals' benefit. Some plants are poisonous and this could harm or even kill us. Animalia Animals are heterotrophic and multicellular. They also have symmetry. There are vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals that have an internal backbone, and invertebrates are animals that do not have a backbone, and that is 97% of all animals. Animals reproduce by budding, fertilization, and regeneration. Humans use animals for food and other uses. Animals can kill or hurt us.